So now, in this tutorial, we're going to use the sliders that we programmed in the last tutorial, together with logic, to team up so that you can change the sounds that you use during a live performance without touching logic, only the control surfaces of the keyboard, and you can mix them however you like. Okay, here I'm opening a new project in Logic, and I'm just going to add five new software instruments that are all different kinds. Okay, so here I added a piano, a synth, a string ensemble, a organ, and a bass. And now we're going to go and open up the frightening window called the environment window. So we go up to windows and environment. There it is. And here's the five things that I selected. And we're going to go to edit and copy. And now we're going to go to the window, a uh, little sub window over here. It's set to mix up. But we're going to go to clicks and oh, clicks and ports. Very huh? Look at that. What does that even mean? So what we're going to do now is we're going to paste in the instruments from the other window and paste. And here they are. And so now I'm just going to uh, select all of them and separate them out so they're easier to see. Okay, we've got them all nice and separated. And now what we're doing is we're going to delete a couple of these cables. There was one going to the sequencer input and another one going from the keyboard. So we're just going to select those. Eh. Meh. Just select those, sort of drag around it. Around and, oh, no, not quite. And then you sort of edit, you can just grab. I'm just going to select the input view and then hit the delete button like that. Okay, now the cable's gone. Which means that if you play something, nothing will happen. Nothing. Nothing. Okay, now we're going to add a transformer into this mix here. And you do that by going to the new menu and selecting transformer. And here we go. Go up to new transformer. And there it gives us a transformer there. I'm just going to drag that down here and double click on it. Now this is a quite confusing thing, but what we're going to do here is set this to filter matching events status equals control channel is unequal to 8, 6, 7, 8 data byte is equal to 7 okay and then so this is for channel 8 and I'm just going to rename this I'm just going to Leave it named the same thing. And then I'm going to add another one in, and I'm going to do the same thing for channel nine, like this. Okay, now we have two, two, two transformers here, and we need to hook these up to our control strips over here. So what we're going to do is drag a cable from the transformer to the first control strip and then the next transformer to the next control strip like this. So drag from here and to then plug that in and then drag from here to plug that one in like that. And right now this will do nothing still. But if we hook everything every one of these transformers up to the keyboard then pretty soon we'll be able to have sound. So from the keyboard to the transformer like that and then there we can grab another cable from the other keyboard here to the next transformer there so now if we hit a key on the keyboard we hear a sound and we hear it coming from both the piano and the synthesizer that I hooked up here and here 
<laughs> we need to get the keyboard in the shot so you can see how when you change the keyboard the sliders change. Hmm. Yeah. <sighs> it's this way you want it? Yeah, look good, thanks. Alright. Okay, so now I've added in more transformers for the channels 10, 11, and 12, and I made them 10, 11, and 12, and I wired them up to the other things. And now, as you can see, when we move these sliders, the sliders for each of the instruments also moves. So, like, see that go up, and back down, and back up. So if we play a note, we can hear that, and then we can mix, there's some more organ, there's some strings. I forget what that is, some sort of synth thing. So now when you're playing live, you can use the sliders to mix any sort of... If you want to go from piano... Like that, to uh, strings. Or organ. Like that. And then you don't have to change anything. On the software, you can just use the control surfaces on your keyboard to do the things that you need to do. Okay, in this tutorial, we're going to learn... No, we're not. F*** learning. <laughs>